What's going on, friends? It's TJ. This is another episode of THC and NFTs. Welcome back and thank you. And remember, if you like what I do here and if you enjoy hanging out in my space, like and subscribe to the video. Also, turn on their alerts so you know about when my next giveaway is going to drop or when I'm going to be giving out free crypto again. And today, we're going to be getting high on a little of 710 Labs Sweaty Betty Fino Mix. Uh, Percy Live Rosin, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the donut shop, and we're going to talk a little bit about community. Um, this is uh, my first episode where I'm going to go back and talk about an NFT that I minted, and the reason why I want to talk about this mint is because I've been listening to a lot of Brian Fanzo, and he talks a lot about um, how much, you know, how much do you actually do for the community? Do you just sit back and wish, you know, the floor price would rock it? Do you involve yourself in the community suggestions and what you think or how the project should further themselves? Are you involved at all? Are you just sitting back and hoping someone else will do it? But real quick, let me get into to this. Take a little little dab. <coughs> yeah, friends, so that's what we do here, you know? <coughs> we get high and we talk about community and nfts and projects and giveaways <coughs> <coughs> so like i said oh, i don't think i have a lighter so like i said i wanted to talk about the donut shop so I am personally still a fan of the donut shop. And why do I say still a fan is because their mint just recently happened and there was a little bit of a hiccup during mint. And, you know, I'm sorry, but it, it happens sometimes. And so, so what happened? Um, so the donut shop minted there was 2222 whitelists and everyone can mint two and somehow the mint the whitelist mint sold out before every whitelist member was able to mint two how that happened i do not know but it it did happen and the founders were not there to talk about it that day so needless to say there was a lot of fud that was spread in the space and it it was very scary to a lot of people in the community. And the reason why I say it was very scary was because there was a lot of people who started, you know, selling their NFTs for less than what they paid for it. You know, they were, they were flooding about. Um, and I'm not sure if this was intentional, but sometimes, you know, people hop in to servers and spread FUD to lower the floor price of a project so they can come in and sweep below mint. Now I'm not saying that's what happened here or that's not, I'm not saying that's what was the intentional case that happened here, but it is definitely what happened. Cause the founders did not disappear. They came back, they came back strong. You know, they announced <coughs> what their plans were and they kept moving forward. And I personally support the founders decision to freeze the rest of these NFTs. So I, I was a fan of this, you know, when I first heard about it and their goal was to mint and then to buy a brick and mortar French, a brick and mortar store in Miami. Today they posted or yesterday they posted some photos of locations that they are going to look at, even though they did not mint out, they are still moving forward with, uh, the roadmap. Now see to me as an investor, that made me feel <coughs> confident about my investment. The donut shop <coughs> for me was not a short-term play. It is definitely a long-term play. <coughs> and 
And <clears throat> there is still room to get in right now. There are still people who paper handed who are not following the community, who are not following the Discord, you know, and they don't know what's really going on. So they're just seeing stats and they're scared. And it's okay. And if they want to get out, you know, that's on them. I accept their decision to uh, leave the community. But that does not have to be everyone's decision. It is not my decision. I am hodl, 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 hodl all day on this project. And I'm hoping to pick up a few more off floor. Um, do I think this is a smart investment? Yes, I do think this is a smart investment. Um, the reason why is because it is below mint. You can get in at a lower price. Um, they are freezing the NFTs and they're going to defrost them back in summer. So there is still potential to get back in. Uh, at mint price because I do believe this floor will rise again. I do believe this community will rise again. This community will settle. This community will come back strong. Uh, let's take a little look into the donut shop because I want to show you guys some of the announcements that we got today in the holders channel. So. So as as you can see right here, they're they're moving forward with the roadmap that was promised to open a donut shop, give us free donuts, and give us residuals. Now all this is gonna be in phases and in steps. It's not gonna happen overnight. This is not a a buy today, sell tomorrow, make a hundred time gain NFT. <laughs> this is an NFT that is a future, the future of NFTs. This is, this is a business who does not want to be controlled by government and going out to a loan. So they are coming to, uh, the decentral, the decentralized, the DeFi. They're coming to us, you know, to support them and with the promises of supporting its holders and potentially us holders are part owners of this. Uh, NFT in this store. So it is just as much your responsibility as it is mine, you know, to uh, go out there and promote the donut shop that, you know, and not to promote it just because you're afraid of floor dropping more, but to promote it because you genuinely like the project and you're genuinely excited about what's to come. Um, they did post something right here uh, about I don't really, like I said, I don't care about the floor right now, but the 3.4 thousand unique owners to 5.5 thousand items, that, that is, that is something, my friends, to be very bullish on. Like it says right there, they are very bullish on that fact as well. That is a good statistic <coughs> to see. It is a, a diverse <coughs> community <coughs> of holders. Which brings a lot of creativity <coughs> and a lot of support. <coughs> but with 3,000 holders, <coughs> imagine what we could do as a community if we supported each other. <coughs> now, <coughs> now, I understand that some people may have thought the investment was a small investment. Some people thought it was a large investment. However, which way you put it, an investment is an investment. And nowhere do I have any right to say whether your investment was large or small. I do not know how the dollar affects you in your life or what bills you have to pay for. But what I do know is that you supported our, our project. You supported the project. And you're afraid of losing your investment. That is completely understandable. But I want everyone to stop thinking of this project as your typical NFT. You know, this is so much more. And I see a lot of people saying it's jam-packed utility. I don't see jam-packed utility. I do see its utility and its utility is going to take time to pay off and to reward its holders. But this is a longevity hold. So if this was your first investment and you're scared of losing your investment, just hodl. That is my advice, is just to hodl. But if you really want to get out 
and you really want to sell, I understand and I will not fight you on it. It is your money to do with as you please. And I wish you the best. I wish you success and I wish you good fortune upon you, your friends and your family. Um, I just want everyone in the community to back each other. And while we're, I gotta relight this, sorry guys. And while we're talking about investments and scared of investments, we got to talk about mental health. Mental health in the space is very important. This is, can be a very toxic space. If you are familiar with the internet, then you are familiar with trolls. Where there is internet, there is trolls. <clears throat> and there are trolls everywhere here. <clears throat> there are people who think <clears throat> they are better than you. <clears throat> there are servers <clears throat> with channels and projects who <coughs> aren't welcoming. <coughs> There's times where you don't feel like you matter because you're in a server with 100,000 people and your question's not being answered and you're not a part of that cool kids club. And I want you to take, you know, take the time to step back and relax and understand what your vision of success looks like. Set goals for your mints and for the projects you're looking at. Have a have a goal for what you're trying, you know, to grasp. And don't don't let it be someone else's idea of success. Let it be your own. And for me, my idea of success for this project, to be honest, was just to be able to mint and have the potential for my free donuts for life. Why do I say just to be able to mint? I've mint, minted plenty of projects, but not have I minted a project that I really wanted that I was I wasn't I was prepared for. There's been multiple projects that I've wanted. I've had whitelist and I've lost them because I was not prepared. And Brian Fanzo talks briefly on that. He talks about you know being ready to take action and and being prepared and being ready to take advice and and are you going to be prepared when that advice comes to take action on that advice. So for me, before this mint came, I was putting money away each week. And I went overboard on it just because the mo couple times that I've missed, it was because I was like a 0.01 short on gas. And oh my God, that made me so upset. It really did. And it crushed me. And I didn't have a clear goal for success on those mints. I just knew I wanted to mint it and I was not focused on my primary goal, which was minting. I was all over the place in all 120 different servers that I'm a part of and I didn't set a goal. So so let's take a break, you know, and breathe and set goals, realistic goals and try, you know, try to not let this space which can be very toxic at times if you let it bring you down you know you're a creator you're 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 special you matter you are here in this space and we are the one percent so please please love yourself because i love you and if someone else doesn't that's fine let them miss out on having your love also, I want to give a huge shout out to Brian Fanzo at NFT365. He runs a podcast. Uh, he does a daily podcast where he talks about NFTs and he mints an NFT every single day. This man is an absolute legend. He is a goat. Um, I wish to embody more of him. He speaks so highly about community and he preaches we is greater than me. And I truly believe he believes in that and he means it. Uh. I will leave a link to all of his uh, all of his social accounts that I am aware of that I know of, but I highly recommend you you friends give him a follow and listen to his podcast. Um, I really appreciate everything he does, uh, the time he takes out of his day to educate us in this space is amazing, and a lot of the stuff that I talk about is stuff that I hear Brian talk about, and I want to bring it to my followers as well. I want. I want you guys, you know, to be as blessed as I am when I listen to his podcast because it, it really is a blessing that he he does this for us every single day. 
friends every single day. And it is wonderful to have them. So if you see this, Brian, thank you. I'm a huge supporter. Thank you for the NFT. Thank you for the ADHD. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you guys don't know, uh, he has a creator coin with Rally. It is an ADHD coin. It, um, if you guys sign up with Rally and connect your Discord and hop into his Discord and verify, he will airdrop you a uh, three ADHD coin, which right now at this time, ADHD is about $7 in some sense. So it's about $21. Um, but yeah, he he will give you that and also Rally rewards you every week for holding ADHD coins with Rally tokens that you could essentially turn into more ADHD coins. So I, I don't know, but the guy's amazing. He has a great space. He has a great Discord. He has a great podcast. I highly recommend everyone checks him out. So please, everyone, my friends, I appreciate you sticking around, hanging out. I'm going to have to relight this again. But until next time, stay safe, enjoy the space, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, friends.